Question number nine, Holly Walker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice and asks, does she intend to bring legislation to the House that will implement the recommendations of the MMP review in time for the 2014 election? Honourable Judith Mr. Collins. Mr Speaker, no. Oh. Supplementary you, question, Holly Walker. Why did she bother to hold the MMP review if she had no intention of implementing its recommendations in the timeline intended? <coughs> Uh, Mr. Speaker, Honourable Judith Collins. Mr. Speaker, of course, I did not hold the MMP review. Um, that was a matter that was undertaken by the Electoral Commission. But I can also say that I've made it very clear that we need consensus on these matters for any change, and there is no consensus for any change. Supplementary question, Holly Walker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that 77% of the public submissions to the review and 52% of the general public support abolishing the one-seat threshold, how can she justify leaving this hugely unpopular coattailing rule in place for the next election? Honourable Speaker, Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I believe that Dr Holly Walker was correct on this matter when she wrote... Quote, there is a tradition of legislation making changes to the electoral system being passed unanimously in Parliament. And it would be great if all parties were able to put aside their own short-term political interests and build a consensus around the Electoral Commission's report. End quote. Now, Dr Walker wrote that in November last year, on the 6th of November, in a little red blog called Frog Blog, and I agree with her. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Holly Walker. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and thank you for order, the promotion, order, Minister. Order. Would the member like to start? Order. The thank member you. like to start a question again. Thank you. Thanks for the promotion, Minister. Uh, which party or parties has blocked consensus in the Parliament on the recommendations of the MMP review? <laughs> Mr Speaker. Order. Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, actually no party has been able to reach consensus because consensus actually requires all parties to agree. Question number 10, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. Order, I have called. Order. Order. I have called Melissa Lee for question number 10. Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social.